Hey y'all, it's your girl Jess, and as you can tell by the title, I am doing a quick little get ready with me. So if you're interested in this video, then keep on watching. What you do to me, between me and you, I feel a chemistry, I won't let no one. I'm out the shower. You want to see a skincare shower with me video, let me know in the comments down below. But I'm going to dry off. Hydrate my body and I'll be back to you when I have my clothes on. My hair is extremely crusty and dusty right now. I'm not gonna go for a sleek look. I'm just gonna put it up and make it look presentable. I have a hair appointment on the 22nd to go get knotless braids. So we're not going to be doing too much. I was going to put some twists in my hair. Like go get the stuff to put like some jumbo twists in my hair. But I don't know. Because I don't want to spend money on that. And I don't even know what I'm doing. If it's going to turn out well. I don't know. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. That was his mouth. You can't really see him. He's in the corner over there in that little pink thing. That's his bed. And nobody come at me at the fact that this boy dog has a pink bed. He's fucking colorblind. He doesn't see color. So he doesn't know it's pink. But y'all, I don't I don't even know where to start about a life update. Let me move this over here. Because is low key kind of crazy. So I guess we can do a work. Um, I don't share what I work. I don't share where I put where I work or share on the internet. But I do work within a government agency as a coordinator. And y'all, yeah, I can generally say I hate my fucking job. Like, people don't understand how emotionally, like, I just sit at a desk and I look at the computer all screens all day. So that is already enough to, like, drive someone crazy. Like, you don't move, you just sit all day for eight to nine hours a day. Like, that enough will drive me crazy, especially, and it did when I first started working in, like, corporate America versus when I did retail and I was moving all day. And I did at first. Like, I was, like, so bored. I didn't understand. Let me take my glasses off. Like, I didn't understand how people did this all day. I was extremely bored, and I went from moving a lot to literally sitting. So... I didn't understand that. And then I got used to it. But the downside, I have a couple downsides. The biggest one for me is the amount of headaches I get because I stare at this computer screens all day. If you don't know, I have chronic migraines. So I do get like I do get headaches a lot anyway. And then staring at a computer screen for eight hours a day does not help any so that is a downfall that no one tells you going in that it doesn't help and they're like oh get the blue the blue light stuff and I have them in my personal glasses and that doesn't help as much and there are things that like I can put over my screen to type up filter the light but those things are like kind of expensive. Well, in retrospect, for me, I think of it like it's sixty dollars, sixty dollars for two because I have two monitors. Well, I have actually three monitors at work, so I need like like I'm probably gonna spend two hundred dollars on these things for work. They're not the job won't pay for them because they don't deem it necessary. 
when I tried to put in an accommodation, I got told no, that that you can't accommodate that. So they won't pay for them. If there's something I want, I have to do it out of pocket. And I low-key have been debating on doing it because the amount of like headaches I get. Like I had a headache yesterday and I have one to this morning when I woke up and I had to call off because I've learned I've had headaches for like five years, so I've learned to like deal with them and like push through them and just keep going. But lately, even doing that, like they get worse. Like I, if I would have went to work today, it would have went like so bad. Like it would got to the point where like I literally will start throwing up, and I do not want to throw up at work. That's how bad my migraines have been lately. Is that I throw up, I get really dizzy, I fainted before, so they can get pretty bad. And that's not something that I really want to deal with at work. Um, so I didn't go in because I didn't want to deal with that. It's just stressful. And then another thing that I didn't realize was that sitting at a computer desk, and I should have, but it had dawned on me when I first started Corporate America, was that when you sit, you're sedentary. So you're not moving, and I'm getting so much weight. And I'm going to, not all of it is because I, um, I sit. It's A lot of it has to do with my eating habits. But, y'all, I've been eating, like, the way I do. I just, my appetite has increased. But I have always ate a lot forever, since, like, forever. But because I used to work in retail, I used to walk, I was but very much more active. I didn't gain weight like this. I'm close to 200 pounds, and it sucks ass. So bad, but the job itself, people don't realize besides all that, the job is stressful because of the type of people I deal with. Some people, like some of the people I work with, not the my coworkers, but like the people who I like have to deal with, like the re the residents, the participants, you know, whatever you want to call them within like the program and stuff can be I don't know what's the appropriate word to say, but not nice. Okay, we're going to say, just say they're not nice. Um, I've been called all type of curse words. I've been called racist. I've been said that I've been discriminating against someone. Some of these people have a true sense of entitlement for things that they're not even paying for. And it baffles my mind. Like, it truly baffles my mind. Um, and on top of that, like, I love to help people. I really do. But this is not my passion. This is not what I want to do. So, like, for me to put up with this in on the customers, like, the participants, the residents, the customers in, the mess that I deal with, and then on the back end with management and higher management and some coworkers, like, it's, it's really not worth it. Like, it's really not worth it. So I have been job hunting for like the past couple of months, but tell you get a couple of my things. Like I've had, I went on multiple interviews. I've gone to second round interviews, third round interviews. Sending did assessments because of what I'm like the field. You have to do assessments and writing samples, and I've done all of that, and I'm currently in the process with one job. I've already did the assessment. I sent in my writing symbols. I'm getting scheduled for the second interview. So fingers crossed. But it's like, it gets very like, I don't know. Like you can feel very defeated at times when nothing, nothing feels like it's panning out. Like it doesn't feel like you're ever going to find a job. So like, I'm so glad that I have my job because to try to find a job and not have a job will be even more stressful worrying about how you're gonna pay bills how you're gonna survive on all this stuff but 
and I do work on the weekends but it's just like in general it's just very stressful and then on top of that I do work on the weekends so I work some days sometimes most of the time seven days a week but so it's like okay I work 40 hours on the, during the week why am I having to work any amount of hours outside of the regular 40 hours that I'm scheduled to survive but it's this economy like you can't really do much so just I'm like oh my god just thinking about all of this makes my head want to smack. Always constantly working, worrying about money because when you come from nothing you're always going to worry about that. Um, so the, all that's stressful and um, then like another aspect at least for me I don't know if anybody else goes through this is like I feel like I'm not where I want to be like at my age I when I was younger I assumed at my age I would be so much more further than I am and that also can be like what the fuck like it just takes a ding on my mental health and all of that like leads like really hurts and like weighs heavily on my my mental status my depression and for me like once I get in a, in a, a state and I and I start to spiral it's very hard to bring myself out of that depressive state and if you didn't know you know you will but I have high functioning depression so I can go out and I can look perfectly fine but be in a horrible mental state right now but I will put a mask on and I will just go ahead and function like normal and I do my very best to like not let people know that I have depression uh coincides with my anxiety I have very bad anxiety on certain things like decision making I cannot make decisions I have exit I cannot make decisions um driving i still have very much bad driving anxiety um, all of that is just it takes a toll um and i know some of my, my mental health has played a part in how much weight i've gained which also takes a toll it's like a like it's like a cycle you know gain weight mental health affected mental health affected gain weight so i'm steady in this never ending cycle and then school, I have a class that I need to finish. School actually last semester was very stressful, but I did so good. I got two A's, brought my GPA up. Um, I have a year and a half left, so I did get a certification in May. I do want to do another one. I do want to do a couple more certifications on my own that I'm paying for out of pocket. Those could be expensive, yes. Another thing that is going on is me trying to figure out how I'm going to pay for Snowball's last little, um, not last little, if you didn't watch the video about his birthday and the scare, he had seizures, his blood sugar was low, he wasn't, he had um, seizures, he had, he's anemic, and they also found a, um, what is it called? A mass between his kidney and his liver so I have to get a sonogram done and a biopsy but if you don't know that stuff grab this, is very expensive and some of nine years old so a lot of the um, places where they were like oh get insurance they want to charge so much money because of his age and I'm like, baby, mm, $150? That's, that's damn near my damn car insurance. And like the, the stuff I've been quoted. So for like the sonogram, I've been quoted like $400. And that's the cheapest for the sonogram. And then for the biopsy, that can be like starting at fifteen hundred, but can go more depending on like, like because he's older, they might want to put him, um, give him a hydration, and if he needs medication, so that's just literally just the starting. Like that doesn't inc that's that it can go up to like one vet said like twenty five hundred dollars. So. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to pay for that because I'm not made of money, my entire face, because the eczema on my eyes is like, wasn't doing it. 
it wasn't doing it. Because clearly my eyes don't want to be touched. This is for the reason. Remember my nose piercing came out when I washed my face? I have PCOS on top of everything else. So I have a lot of facial hair. So I like shave and like pluck. So I had a ingrown hair down here that I'm dealing with. The ingrown hair is stuck, is gone, but now I am dealing with the little bump or blemish that it left. I won't talk about my relationships on here, like personal relationships on here, because that, at least in my opinion, doesn't need to be on the internet. I will say that when it comes to friendship, that I don't have that many friends. Like, the app is very interesting. There are some weird people on that app, but for the most part, it's interesting. But I just find it weird that people get on these apps to make friends and then the French like you never go outside the app what's the point of making friends if you never actually leave the app my final look don't come for me in the comment section because I'm not a makeup girly don't come for me don't come for me don't come for me um this is just what i do if you have any helpful suggestions let me know in the comment section down below if you like this video and you want to see more of this type of video then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and let me know some video suggestions in the comment section down below um, but until next time bye what you do to me between me and you i feel chemistry